You know, every once in a while I run into a branch formation that I just cannot explain. Now, the way this branch has grown and suddenly gone straight back up, it looks like there might have been an old wound of some sort there, but maybe not. There's definitely something was cut off down low. So, you know, when I looked at something like that and I said, you know, what, what caused that? Did something break a long time ago and it, and it grew and up and it, and it grew back in a different way, possibly? Um, this, uh, this is kind of an interesting tree, this old sycamore tree. It's a, a native sycamore, the Platinus gracemosa. And it's right next to a creek and there's a lot of old native sycamores around here. And this grand old tree, as well as this one right here, used to have this whole area for a root zone and now it's a parking lot and when you look up in the upper canopy it's starting to decline there's a lot of dieback and there's a lot of old wounds up here there's also a number of cables in these trees interestingly there's a cable that goes from this tree to this tree so i don't know what made them think that that little branch up there could hold up all that weight on that side but whoever made that decision, I think, made a huge mistake. There's uh, a cable over here that goes from that branch to this branch, and one from this branch over to that branch. And that is based upon a fairly large area of decay up here. And I see plants growing inside that cavity up there. So that means there's enough decent dirt in that cavity to... Uh, to recognize that it is weak. So whether or not those cables are sufficient is anybody's guess. But I'm, I'm still perplexed about this. Every time I drive by this, I think, what caused that? Why did that do that? I don't know. You tell me, what, what do you think caused this? You see the way it grows. You can see that it grows here and grows back up. There's a wound down here. And that could be anything. That could have been just a branch that broke off a long time ago. But it, it's just such an odd configuration in the way it grows. Now the native California sycamore, that one, there's a couple over there, they often grow near creeks and wetlands. So at one time, when this creek used to flood, it would flood this parkland out here. And this was, uh, this is more of a floodplain. So they're quite old. These trees have been here for, uh, I'd say at least a hundred years. I know the park has been in existence for a long time and these are original park trees. And there's a couple more big ones right up over here. Interestingly, these trees are often hollow. Let's go see if we can find a hollow in one of these trees. These are some really significant trees. They're well over 80 or 90 feet tall, but they've got really big fat trunks down near the base. And it's very clear somebody injured this at one time. Maybe they ran into it with a tractor. Sometimes I'm surprised about the, the abuse that trees end up getting sub subjected to through carelessness. And sometimes, oh, look at this. Now that's just rude. <laughs> Couldn't they have put a signpost in here? Why did they have to nail it to the tree? Uh, anyway, long and short of it, uh, this tree actually looks pretty good. Let's go look at another one, see if I can find a hollow. There we got an old wound in here. Let's see how deep that goes. I'm not gonna reach my hand in there, but who knows what lives in there. So there's an example of a hollow that's grown up and around. Oh, here's another one. That one's not too deep, but... Now this is a bad sign, unless somebody just set this up here. No, nope, it looks like it's cut. Sometimes if you have areas of uh, buildup of decay and, and dirt, you'll get plants that are growing down there, and the, the roots that get down in between these big trunks is an indicator of how deep the decay goes. These are our local native California sycamores. 
These actually look pretty good. And we've got a nice big bay out here. This is the local California bay tree. There's a bit of decay. They call this myrtle wood up in Oregon. And we've got another sycamore there. Another magnificent sycamore here. Now this is interesting. There's a hollow inside here. And it goes down all the way to the ground. And somebody thought it'd be a good idea to put that over there. There's a playground here, so maybe they opted to do that to keep kids from climbing in there. Maybe those spur marks all the way up that old trunk there. They never did heal. With this much decay, I think this tree is a hazard. It's got some decay down low here. It's got a definite lean. It's got some pretty good holes up there. And it's in a park. So they have to make some decisions about these potential hazards in public areas. <laughs> 